This is a Smitty Mitty Show web exclusive. Welcome to another Smitty and Mitty Show web exclusive brought to you by Kev's Cards, your one-stop shop for amateur trading cards. Joining us now, the host of the Matt Ramage Show himself, Mr. Matt Ramage, joining us. How are you doing today? Good, sir. I am good. And you're, I, I have to say, like, your voice is fantastic. Like, that is like radio like heaven like my ears are in love right now <laughs> tell, tell me. i didn't know we were gonna do this i didn't know we were gonna do this but it is a sexy voice it is it's the it, reason i keep him around yeah because like i i wish i had a voice like that like my mom always said i have a face for radio but definitely not the voice for radio <laughs> I, I did go to i went to school actually for radio it's not what i do now other than this podcast but uh that actually made me smile so thank you that uh that that just warmed my heart that warmed my heart it makes so, me proud I finally did something. So can I can I ask you real quick? Uh, like when I I do a podcast and like when I listen to my own podcast, it's like cringy to me. It's like, oh, uh, like I sound it. You know, usually I'm buzzed up. So that has something to do with it. <laughs> but like when you hear your voice, like if you listen to your own stuff, like do you have that or I hate it? OK, hate so it. That, it's everyone. I just want to make sure I think, I think I don't I don't know a single person that likes the sound of their own voice. It, there's a few people, but a lot of people just hate it. I'm one of those people. Yeah, I think because there's certain people like, you know, Alex Stroff, who I do some podcasts with, like Bob, Benny, like you, like there's, they just have that voice. Like, yeah, I, I don't have it. Like whenever I hear my voice, like even, but I thought it was me, but I, I showed it to my family. Like, Hey, my voice sounds really like, yeah, your voice is awful. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was hoping they'd like pump me. I'm like, no, it's fine. I like, no, no, we we hear it too. We hear it live, and we don't like it. <laughs> I think you just made Noah's night because for what you just compared him to Bob Menery. So that I mean, that's good Can't for go you wrong. in the first place because that's also one of the sexiest voices in the world. Dan Shulman, who we've had on a BSPN baseball, that's a sexy voice. Yeah. But um, the big one for me is listening back, and then like I, I'm talking, I'm thinking. I'm saying some dumb shit here. Like I, <laughs> this is not making sense. There's no way. And then you talk to somebody else after they're like, Oh, I love the episode. He made some good points. Like me. I thought I was just rambling. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, I get that a lot. Where like, I'll do like an episode where I thought was horrible. Where like I, I, I barely re- like promote it. I'm like, I'm not even going to promote this one. I'll put it in my Instagram story. That's it. Like <laughs> I'm not posting no links. I hope no one listens. And then people were like, Oh, I like that episode. Like this. And I was like, really? Like, and then, like, I'll be, like, dr- like kind of buzzed up. You know, I-, I always feel like I'm better when I'm buzzed up. And I'll be like, oh, that was a good one. And, like, no one will tweet me. No one will say anything. They're just like, eh. I- that's not even worth me at- telling you that it was good. So, like, I-, I don't know, like, what is good. Like, people like me for some reason. But, like, if I was someone else, like, I wouldn't. <laughs> Like, I don't think I would listen to me. It's the relatable thing, right? People like people that they can relate to. We were talking before we came on about how you just work a normal job and and do this on the side. And I think that's what people like, right? They they enjoy seeing someone that they can relate to rambling about stuff that they like to hear. Yeah, because like I, I always think it's funny because like a lot of people who follow me know that I, I work at a cheese factory. And like people always think it's glamorous. They're like, "Oh, that must be fantastic!" Like it's horrible. I, I wouldn't say it's horrible. Like I, I probably get fired if I say that. But uh, I, <laughs> they're not I, listening. Yeah, like <laughs> whenever someone says it, I always just want to give them an application. Like we're shorthanded, bro. Like I, I I'll get you a job. <laughs> like, no, but but I, I I I think that that's probably it a little bit too because like I am just the average. Trend. I have I'm not all knowing. Like I don't know anything more than. And people ask me like, "What do you think about?" This and that, and I'm like, dude, I don't know, bro. Like, I was at work today. I didn't even see the press conferences. Like, I don't, I don't like. So I'm just like the average dude that's just like saying my opinion. Because I think anyone can. I, I, I've always thought that like all these people who like comment and stuff about like, they'll get mad at what Skip Bayless says or Colin Cowherd, guys I hate, uh, and then they'll be like, that's wrong. They shouldn't have said it, and then say something, make a video. Like he, anyone can make videos on the internet i mean obviously they're not gonna get seen as much as guys like skip but like when i first started like i was just like i just want to rant and say crap and then eventually people started watching and uh people a lot of people don't like me i, I <laughs> but that that's just part of i don't know to me it, it's just fun oh well, so far so good because we like you so far the uh, uh this is gonna sound <laughs> this is gonna sound really mean 
mean, but I mean, none of us, like you said, we all have the face for radio. Like I think people appreciate too, that you're not out to be glamorous. You're not out to, to wear, you know, Gucci clothes. You're just, you want to talk about a team that you love and people are going to listen to it because like, that's not, they know you're not trying to be a millionaire. You're just trying to talk about yeah. something that you're passionate about. I'm not against being a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's exactly what it is. Like, as far as like clothes, like dude, I wore this hoodie on my podcast last night. I got a little buzzed up last night. All right. There's a trend here. So uh, I, I, I woke up late. I, I was like, oh, that hoodie I wore yesterday must still be good. I'll wear that one again. But, uh, but yeah, that didn't. That is exactly like, like what I am. I'm, I, I always say like, I'm, I'm not better than any other fan. I was I'm not even as good because like people will comment, like uh, I'll post a clip of, of, of my podcast, like some crazy take I have. And then someone will like say comment. And I'm like, Oh, that's actually right. Like he's probably <laughs> and like, <laughs> like, I should have him on my podcast. No, but like, dude, I, I, that is the, the, the best part to me is like the comments, just talking to people about football or about, about whatever. And uh, just getting like, you know, just talking about, I don't know. I, I, I just love social media. The, the fact that like, I know people in like New Zealand and people like, you know, uh, who I chat with here and there in my comments and in messages off doing this crap, like in my off time. And I, I have friends around the world. I don't know. I, I love it. Well, we'll get to the Packers here eventually, but like you mentioned Bob Menorine, we talked to him a, a little bit earlier in our careers here. And he mentioned how his social media rise was like he did the music video and then all of a sudden it was like thousands and thousands an hour. How, well, what was yours like? Was it thousands on thousands an hour or was it a slow grind up to the fi- almost 50,000 you have on Instagram now? Let me ask you this. What music video did he do <laughs> before I answer this? He did a music I video? Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he got big because he did a he was in a music video. He's, he was living in L.A., living in his car just trying to grind his way through. And he was on a music video with one of his buddies and his buddy. Yeah, yeah. I I did. I I did. Because I I, I followed Bob Menry for forever. He follows me. Eh, I don't mean to be like, no. (laughs) (laughs) Subtle break. No, he's he's good people. But he was on the the Wolf of Wall Street podcast. And he has his own podcast off and on. But uh, that interview on the Wolf of Wall Street podcast with Bob Menry was great. Like told his whole story and all that. I forgot that he did that music video and then he uh yeah and then messed. they took somebody took a video of him doing you yeah. know some silly thing that he always does and it literally just caught on and like I said it was he said it was like he looked at his phone and he would have a 10,000 more followers and all of a sudden in like That's a week wild. you were up to like 2,000. I'm assuming it didn't go like that for you but I don't know that. No, it, it did not go like that for me. I I like how I for very first started like with social media. Like I was I was on MySpace back in the day. Like uh uh, like I had a top 10 f- friends list. And back then, like on MySpace, your your number 10 friend was actually your number one because you just wanted to, to like disrespect them. So like cause, cause there was like I, you guys seem young, but like, like there was like a top 10 friends. I won't go off too long on MySpace. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like there was a top 10. So like you would make your best friend number 10 just to like say, screw you. But uh, like like my first like real uh social media stuff like was vine i used to make six second videos making fun of my eyes just making jokes of my eyes and i and i gained a little following like twenty thousand. but like i didn't even know like what social media was like i was just having fun i was screwing around i wasn't like trying to gain followers and trying to like do anything it was cool to gain followers but like it wasn't like i didn't know what social media was really then and then uh after that like i got bored with it i was like oh, how many jokes can you make about your eyes so then I, I quit like before like, it died off, but then I had an Instagram page that cause my son used to do graphic design. Like he would take a picture of Aaron Rodgers, you know, make a little graphic, edit it up, make it pretty. And uh, I was trying to like vibe with him a little bit. So I, I made a meme page cause I don't know how to design anything. And uh, I just started making Packer memes, like, you know, like just jokes or whatever, but that, that got boring. So I was like, I'm just gonna change it to my name. And then start doing like the eye stuff mixed with the Packers stuff and just have fun. See what happens. I lost like 3000 followers on Instagram. Like that day I was at like, I was at like 30 some thousand with the meme page. I made, I switched it to my name. Everyone unfollowed me. Like who the hell is this guy? Where are the memes at? And then on Facebook, I lost a whole ton of you know, followers and likes and all that. 
because on Facebook, when you change your name, it tells everyone, hey, you changed his name. And they're like, yeah, did I hold that guy? But then I just started doing it. Like someone told me to start a podcast. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And then I slowly started growing again. And uh, I didn't want that. It's not like a really fun story, like Bob Henry, like a lot of guys have. But uh, I, I just started having fun with it. And people like I lost so many at first. But it's all about the long game because not everyone is Bob Henry. Not everyone is like all these guys that just pop. You just have to keep working. And really, not even work. It's just have fun. Like I noticed like early on, the harder I would try, the suckier I was. I turned into Larry King, like I was saying about doing interviews. As soon as I interviewed people, I'd like lean in like, oh, OK, uh, what do you feel about that? Like it, after like I stopped that because I used to never drink during my shows. Now I drink on most of them because I think you should have fun. Like this should all be fun. And I think people like that more. But yeah, it, I don't have a, like a, a real flashy story. I just uh, w- when I changed my name, I started doing all types of little videos. I've been on Pat McAfee's show like he used my clip. I almost died that day. I wasn't on the Pat McAfee show, but they used my video clip. I had a rant about Aaron Rodgers. They put that on there. I was on like NFL films show that they have. They use one of my clips. And like when that happens, like, dude, that is outstanding. Like when like uh, NFL films use my video clip, put it on their show and then all laughed at me. And I was like, yo, that's awesome. <laughs> Even though that <laughs> I don't know if they were laughing with me. I think they're more laughing at me, but I'm still OK with it. But yeah, like when that stuff, especially Pat McAfee, Pat McAfee to me is the goat of all like podcasts, live shows, like YouTube. Like he, like I, I watch him and I just like, how can I be that? First of all, I had to learn stuff because I don't, I'm not very knowledgeable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically like, like how I started. And uh, dude, I'm just getting started though. We're going to do some stuff. Have you ever seen Pat McAfee's, uh, his stand up comedy? Yeah, I, 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 I saw hilarious. Dude, he's so funny. He's so good at like what he does. I could have a whole podcast just talking about how great Pat McAfee is. Like I made a video one time, like my eyes all jacked up and uh, I, I tagged him. It was like a little video for him and he commented on it. This is like before, like when I very first started doing videos, like with my eyes and he was like, you're a funny dude. I was like, oh, I just died. Like, <laughs> like it's crazy. Do you guys know who Donnie Baker is? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was just watching his live, like, right before we started. I was, you know, he has live on Instagram, on Facebook. He's hammered. You know, he's drinking a beer. He's ranting about something. And I, I joined the live, and he said, hi. He goes, hi, Matt Ramage. I was like, oh. I was going to screen record it, but, like, you can't go back when it's live, so I'm going to go back after we're done. God, dude, Donnie Baker's hilarious. I, 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 I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been following him, like, since forever. Like, I mean... It's cool, like when people say your name. <laughs> We're getting emotional here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> no, I, I'm just, I just need to grab a new beer, so that's why it might seem that way. <laughs> uh, he's yeah, just having fun. Well, that's honestly what it is a lot of the times, right? You're just out here, and uh, I don't know you. You said it a couple of times, and and we're kind of the same way we're going to do this, whether people are listening or not, right? Yeah. Like there could be thousands, hundreds, there could be five. Right. I'm still going to sit here because I need to, I mean, up here in Ontario, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs lost in game seven. I don't know if you follow hockey, but Tyler's a big fan. And this week's show is all him ranting because that's just what he needed to do. Dude. And believe me, he was going to do it, whether there was two people listening or whether there was 200. So you know, that's exactly what it is. Well, like I, I, I forgot to mention too, like when, like w- I did my first podcast, right. I went at it. Tom Crabtree was on a lot of times. And uh, we were just bull crap. And he, he's awesome, people, by the way. Tom Crabtree is like one of my favorite humans. But uh, Ha Ha Clan Dix came to my house. Uh, I, I, I did a podcast with him. I asked him to come to my podcast. He's like, I'll come by the house. I was like, you don't got to come by my house. Like, we can do it over the phone or whatever. Anyways, he came by my house. <laughs> and uh, like, he's the most respectful, cool dude that I've ever, like, because he came to my house, like, you don't got to take off your shoes. He's like, I take off my shoes in people's house. I'm like, well, you're going to step in dog shit. <laughs> like, maybe dog shit in your house? house? No, I'm just <laughs> I didn't say no. no, but uh, he he was just the coolest guy. Like, be, 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 before he showed up, I was so nervous. Like, I'm pacing back and forth in my house, and I was just like, because, like, I'm not knowing, like, I'm not, especially at that time. I mean, I'm not now, but I definitely wasn't then. He was my first guest. <laughs> like, I, I'm my second coming of the podcast. I had some before, but, uh, 
I did. I was so nervous. Then the microphone he was using wasn't working because I'm watching. Like I, I used Audacity that I didn't have all the video stuff. I, I had like some flip camera that I was using to record the video. The audio was like eight yards away. Like audio, the video was horrible, but the audio was all right. But anyways, so his mic wasn't working. So I just took my mic and kind of was like in the video. You, you can see me scooting the mic over. Cause I was so scared. Like this whole thing's going to happen and his audio will not pick up. And uh, it was just like such a ghetto rink. I, I had a laptop and some $5 mic off Amazon. Like I had nothing good. I think one of my mics was secondhand. I bought for something like 30 bucks. It was a snowball, you know, the snowball mics. Luckily I had that. Cause when I scooted it, it actually picked up the audio. It was, uh, ended up being all right, but I was so nervous for that. I was so scared out of my mind. Uh, and I've had other players since, but, that that that's kind of why like like I grew because a lot of players follow me on Instagram. Uh, like Preston Smith, he's cool with people. Like people, I don't know. Uh, the, the players are awesome. I don't know. I could go on all, all day like about the players because that 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 is one thing that makes me like completely biased because I don't like when people trash the players like individually. Like because like I don't know. I, I I don't know why I'm going on this, but like. I see the players like as people like a lot of times people go off on this kick, like, like, like with Kevin King, who I don't know, Kevin, he doesn't follow me. He's never said a word to me, but like they can make mistakes. But like when people like the way the fans go at them, because like so many players were cool to me, it's like, I don't know. Cause like at my job, I suck. If people were like watching me do my job and telling me how I was doing it on Twitter, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> so, I mean, you brought up players. We'll, we'll move to the pack for a bit here. And obviously one question we're going to like, did you watch uh, Aaron Rodgers on Jeopardy? Cause I feel like that's just watching him doing what is going to be his future career. And it's not yeah. going to be with the Packers. Like, is he, what's happening? Is he coming back? What, like, why, why do the Packers feel like they just don't like having him? Like, it feels like they do everything they can to try and push him out the door. It's weird. I don't, I, I think he'll be back. Like I, I troll so many like ESPN pages whenever they post about it. I said, I think he'll be back. And then not because I think that he thinks I want to be back and I love the place, but I think that the Packers hold all the cards. Like if he doesn't come back and they don't trade him, which I don't think they will, they said a hundred times, like we're not going to trade him, And like, they'd be dumb to really. Cause like all the, the money wise stuff, like I'm not real into like the contracts and like, I'm not a genius with all the money stuff, but I know he always like, I think 30 million if he wouldn't come back or whatever. So I, I think he'll come back. They, if they don't trade him, he has to retire or uh, play. And I think he'll play. I think that he's maybe trying to prove a point, flex a little bit and say, like, you know, he's obviously not happy with some stuff going on, but I just don't think it's as bad where people are like, he'll retire. He'll sit out. Like, I don't, I don't think he'll sit out and like, not be, you know, I don't know, but nobody does. <laughs> That's all we say. Like whenever I say, I, I don't like giving my opinion. Cause like, what the hell do I know? But like nobody else knows either. Like you can go off like what he said on ESPN Sports Center, and um, but he, he really hasn't said much other than that. I think that when it's mandatory, when he starts losing big money, like he lost five hundred thousand, but to him, you know, that's like dropping a fifty. <laughs> but I'll maybe a little that up. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, uh, I think he'll be back. I I, th I think I don't know. I I just think he will, and that's just uh just a hunch. Like Brett Favre had a hunch. I have hunches too. <laughs> <laughs> Different hunches. Well, I mean, yeah. they, they, uh, they're saying he might miss, you know, mini camp and then probably later on into the summer. I don't know. I, I'm kind of like the same feeling as you, right? You just got the hunch that he's going to come back. And from everything I'm reading and from everything I'm hearing, I, I, I would think that he's kind of doing exactly what you're saying. He's kind of just playing a game with him, right? Kind of just holding out a little bit. And I think I'd be, Personally, I think I'd be surprised if we don't see him back in the Packers uniform this season. Yeah, I, I fully expect him to be there. If not June 8th, then for sure training camp. And I would bet June 8th because there's a lot of fines that can happen. And, uh, like, I know that people are saying that they're working on a new deal, but I think even if they don't get a new deal, he'll be back. But, uh, and, like, a lot of people are saying, like, well, if they do force him to come back, like, he doesn't want to come back, but they uh, – they kind of hold a leverage well then he's gonna play like lousy because he's mad like no that's not how players work that's how i work <laughs> like 
at my job, my boss pisses me off. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not cleaning that today. <laughs> I get, uh, I'll slack off today, whatever. But uh, that, dude, players play for themselves. They play. Rogers has pride. He has an ego, like which he should. Like people say, he's like arrogant or whatever. Dude, if if I had that type of skill, dude, you wouldn't. You don't even know the arrogance. I'd be yelling. But uh, <laughs> no, but it, I I think the Packers have a leverage. I think that. Rogers isn't going to, you know, fail on purpose. He's not going to work, not work hard because he's upset with a certain person in the franchise. Like he has pride. He wants to be MVP. He wants to be talked about as one of the best, like no player. I don't care if you're Aaron Rodgers, Pat Mahomes, or a guy that, you know, on the, on the practice squad, they all have pride. They all want to play. Well, everyone's watching, you know, I, I, I don't buy that whole, he won't play hard thing. I actually appreciate the Packers not trading him because when it comes to like, like let's say the Harden thing that happened this year where he just doesn't show up, he doesn't play hard, and they end up having to trade him. I hate that. You're signed to a contract. Yeah. The team does like they're they're gonna pay you money for you to play football. And they, they can't stop paying you money. So why can you stop playing football? Like it, it seems that easy to me. And I understand why he's angry. Like, do you think like is love the next quarterback? Like it just seems like from everything I've never seen him play, I don't know, but yeah. from, every, from from everything that it sounds like, he's not a stud quarterback, and you kind of pissed off your stud quarterback by drafting him, right? Yeah, like like like, like I'm very mixed by the Aaron Rodgers uh, Jordan Love thing because like I don't know, like I'm not a scout. I never even heard of Jordan Love before the draft. Like I, I was kind of my that's my point. Yeah, but a lot of people did. Like, I, I know Alex Strauf, who was on my show a few times, he actually made a prediction the Packers would draft him. I think he's the only one ever. And I'm not saying that he's a genius because that maybe that makes him the opposite. No, <laughs> no, but he, he's my guy. But, uh, like, a lot of people are saying, like, from what I hear, is like Jordan Love, the ceiling was crazy high, but the basement was crazy low. So, like, the Packers... Like if they think, but the thing is, is like if, if Rogers leaves, which I don't think he will this year, but probably after this, if they don't get a new deal done and, and make some moves, but uh, like if, if Rogers would happen to leave and Jordan love failed, like they're all out of jobs and probably can't get another one. Like, like it, if you make that move, like, like they did with Favre, like we're going with Rogers, you know, Favre wanted to come back and they're like, all right, we'll trade you. And if they were wrong and Rodgers was, you know, garbage, like, dude, they would have all looked like idiots. And the, the same thing here. That's why they're not trying to push them out because they know. Like, I, I don't know, like, what Jordan Love is. Like, if, if he – I don't think any – you hear, like, mixed reports. Like, I hear, like, oh, he's throwing lasers in practice. But it's practice. So, like, all those clips you see that come out, you can, like, you can watch a quarterback. Like, you can watch me for an hour throw footballs. You're probably going to get a 15 second clip where I look like I'm not a piece of crap, but like, so like, I think that they can mix anyway, but I don't think anyone knows, but if, if they're wrong and Rogers leaves and, and he fails, like dude, they're going to, they're going to be filling out the application to cheese factory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll be, they'll be joining hey, down at, like, the, at the factory for sure. If you, <laughs> you, if you put me and let throw the football around, I could probably do it for a little bit, but as soon as you get a 300 pound lineman coming at me, like, yeah, oh, it's going to make a difference. Right. Like <laughs> I can't do There's a lot of difference in a football game. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Like I, I always see people say like, Oh, could you like from the one yard line, get a touchdown for a billion dollars? Like, no, I couldn't like, dude, I got, dude, I'm upstairs. I got winded cl- walking up here. Like when I do a podcast, <laughs> I got to come upstairs like a little bit beforehand. So I'm not breathing heavy on the mic. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not athletic. I'm not doing anything athletic. And one time I spilled my beer and I caught it. That was uh, that was kind of a cool thing. But like other than that, like I'm not saved half going, of it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a real athletic. I like. I you probably couldn't even find a clip. Like if you said, "Hey, throw 100 footballs," we're gonna try to find a clip that makes you look good. Like it, it probably wouldn't happen. I just like I throw a ball like 10 yards. <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, uh, listen, we're out of time. We thank you for uh, hopping on and joining us. Well, we're going to have to have you on closer to the football season once things get going, but it's been a blast. Why don't you let our listeners and viewers uh, uh, know where they can find you online? Uh, if, if you search the Matt Ramage show, 
you can find my podcast and YouTube and all that stuff. But uh, otherwise, search Matt Ramage, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm even on TikTok. I don't dance, though. But uh, <laughs> if you search my name, I'll pop up probably. And, and, and also, like, uh, a photographer who has the same name as me. And he stole, that, all the, he stole all the usernames. Except for Twitter, I got that one. I think he was slipping. That's that's not worse <laughs> Sell it than to one of the hockey coaches we talked to a while ago. He has the same name as a uh, a serial killer in the states. So oh, you got okay. off you got off good there. You got off nice. You're just yeah, a photographer. He, yeah, yeah he, he's a photographer. I think he probably hates me. I think we follow each other on Instagram though, because I I follow like Matt Ramages, <laughs> <laughs> just because like yo we it's have like the same hobby. name. Yeah, and like you have my username. I have to have an underscore at the end. People actually commented on this stuff. You should give him the name. I'm like, you should. <laughs> uh, he's like, no, I'm good. No, but, you know, it's all fun. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for joining us, Matt. It's been a pleasure, and uh, we'll talk again soon. All right. Sounds good, my man. Thanks for having me.